Hello, uh, in this video, we'll see how to post some data to an API using fetch in your JavaScript application. For the sake of this video, I'm using an XJS project. So here you can see I already have a button here and, and, and a click event handler, right? I'll show you how to make an API call or how to post some data to an API. So I already have an API which is running at a, at a different port in my local host only. So we'll see how to make a post request to that particular endpoint. I add a try and catch to the API call first. Once that is in place, I'll define something called const API response. So now this will receive the response from the API. And here we'll be using fetch and the endpoint that I'll be making the post request is localhost one api slash users we need to pass in some options to this fetch call that is the method so it's since we are testing for post we'll pass in the method as post now here we also need to pass some data to the endpoint so i'll just add body and i'll stringify whatever stuff i'm trying to post to the endpoint right and inside i'll add an id say 100 right and also add a wait call to this thing right so now once this is done we'll just try logging the response from the endpoint or we can also see the response in the browse too here i'll just add a log just in case if something goes wrong and we can log there here now i'll just save it Project dot refresh, and I'll just open my network console here, and I'll just click on the method. All right, so I'm getting a 404 here. Let's quickly see. Oh, okay, fine. This here, the URL is wrong. I forgot the slashes here. Okay, I'll refresh and try once again. So now you can see that I'm able to make the API call, and if you inspect this thing, we can see the payload. We are passing as ID here and in the preview, I'm getting the message from the endpoint. So this is how you can post some data to your API using fetch in JavaScript. So I hope you find this video useful. Do let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching.